there's a lot to be said about becoming known for a certain style. Like someone says, well, you know, you look at that, you know it's a Van Gogh. Or you look at this, you know it's a Renoir. Because he has a distinctive style about him. And I, I really don't think I, I have a distinctive style. And I think it's because each work, to me, if there's a certain feeling or a certain mood I'm trying to convey, it has its own style that, that I need to do to achieve that. I think the painting I'm working on right now is not really like any other painting because it's, it's another feeling I'm having. And so I'm not confined to one particular style. Maybe that helps me, maybe it hurts me, but I'm just in it for the adventure, for, for the journey. When I was in high school, I wasn't present when you have your photo taken for the yearbook. And uh, they says, well, Ken, you can draw. Why don't you, what do you think about drawing your self-portrait? I did end up getting uh, two scholarships to go to an art class, but I made a decision back then. I, I, there was another fascination that uh, I started to uh, get uh, I, st I started to be fascinated with, with studying the Bible, and I was getting really religiously inclined. And I think at that point, I, I made a decision to go in that direction instead of taking the, the scholarships. I guess I was struggling with the type of artist I wanted to be. I didn't want to be in commercial art. I wanted to be a painter, and I didn't know. I thought it was risky trying to be a painter and make a living at it. I got married then responsibilities, we had a child, and uh, I just had to stop painting for a while because it just wasn't practical. That span of time went probably about 15 or 20 years where I did nothing. I think uh, another spark started for me when I went to visit the um, Clark Art Institute in uh, Williamstown, and to actually be in front of Renoir or Remington or Monet, Sargent, and just, you know, see those works in, in person, it was, it just blew me away. The fire was starting all over again, and I, and I wanted to paint. Here it is in, in the 90s, 30 years out of high school, and I did this self-portrait, kind of like telling that Ken is still here, Ken is still painting. Uh, and it's a, a, a portrait of myself. Sort of, it's a take on a Rockwell self-portrait where he's painting himself and you know, he's kind of like looking in the mirror <laughs> at himself while he's painting. And uh, friends saw that and they says, what are you doing? You know, you gotta show this stuff. People just kept encouraging me to continue to paint. One day I was driving through Hudson. It was raining and rainy days didn't appeal to me at all. Uh, gray, not much color going on. And, uh, but driving through the city in, in the rain, I noticed the way the city and all those buildings and cars and people looked like through the wet windshield. There was all this drizzly color and motion happening. And then I wanted to duplicate that on the canvas. And I tried and tried real hard until I could get to where it looked like it was looking through wet glass. And so I did a, a whole series, I think I did about 24 paintings of, uh, of Warren Street. And it just transformed all those buildings and people and, and, and automobiles into something magical to me. I view art as, as not just a nice thing in my life. To me, it is my life. And I just want to continue, you know, reaching out to people that, that can connect with it. And I would encourage anybody, you know, that would, would like it. It's never too late to even to try. My life has been very compartmentalized. You, you have certain things that have to be done. And there are priorities in life. And maybe, oh, well, I know at that 20 year span, art couldn't be a priority because there were other things. But don't let that 
stop you forever. You could pick it up and you can do it. And, uh, and just don't, don't say I can't because that, that, uh, that's the worst enemy.